Russian Aerospace Forces MiG-31BM, assigned to Pacific Fleet's Naval Aviation, receives aviation fuel. Filmed 30th November 2023, we think this is part of a four-ship flight of MiG-31BM, deployed secretly by order of President Putin to Russian-occupied Belpec airfield near Sevastopol, Crimea. Recent satellite images could only show profiles of the MiG-31 looking down from space. The MiG-31 variant type and possible weapon loads could not be ascertained. Speculation grew that these aircraft could be armed with KH-47M2 Kinzel aeroballistic missiles, described by the Russian military as capable of reaching speeds of Mark 10, or 7,672 miles per hour, with an effective range of 930 to 1,240 miles. As you can see from this archive footage, this is a modified MiG-31BM called MiG-31K, specifically able to carry the 23 foot 7 inch long KH-47 M2 Kenzel missile. You can see from this picture, the MiG-31K has no racks for air-to-air -air missiles, which brings us back to the MiG-31BM refueling here at Belbeck Airfield, Crimea. It's carrying two Vimpel R-37, a Russian-produced hypersonic air-to-air -air missile with an effective range of 93 to 247 miles, and two R-33 air-to-air -air missiles, effective range of 189 miles. It is not carrying the media speculated KH-47M2 Kinzhal missile. President Putin's orders was for the MiG-31s to patrol the Black Sea area. To be fair, he did say they would be armed with Kinzhal missiles, which leaves the possibility that other MiG-31s are actually armed with Kinzhals. Putin announced the aircraft will conduct permanent missions over neutral waters in the Black Sea. In a clear reference to the United States carrier groups, President Putin said, This is not a threat, but we will exercise visual control, control with weapons over what is happening in the Mediterranean Sea. The MiG-31BM filmed 30th November 2023 is flying over the Black Sea, but according to the Ministry of Defence of the Russian Federation, its primary mission today is to patrol for Ukrainian airborne fixed and rotary wing aircraft and missiles launched towards Crimea. Its patrol mission is a designated area towards Kherson Oblast. It will use its upgraded Zaslon M radar with its 250 miles detection range. The radar can track 24 targets at once capable of firing all four R-37 long-range missiles at four different targets at the same time. Here the aircraft has rapidly climbed above the clouds and can patrol the skies towards Kherson a blast relatively untroubled. The pilot has no short-range defence. His aircraft's four Vimpel R-73 short-range air-to-air -air missiles removed, so the pilot will have to use the aircraft's long-range standoff attack capability to avoid an enemy attack. The MiG-31 was designed to engage high-flying, high-speed aircraft, such as the now-retired Lockheed SR-71 reconnaissance planes. This remains the key strength of this aircraft. The MiG-31 has a high speed, altitude and rate of climb. The MiG-31 is among the fastest production aircraft. This is footage recorded in September 2020, shows a MiG-31BM using its superior speed of 1,900 miles per hour to intercept a B-1B Lancer travelling at 830 miles per hour. The Lancer has a service ceiling of 60,000 feet. The MiG-31 has a superior service ceiling of 82,000 feet plus. The MiG-31BM probably remains Russia's key defensive aircraft. It has not taken part in many actions against Ukraine, an indication perhaps of its overall importance of defending Russia. Its use in the battle space above the Black Sea is probably reluctantly forced on the Russian commanders due to Russian aerospace forces' significant air asset losses fighting Ukraine.